Hey everyone, I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Everything I do is all about cruelty-free beauty, so this is a great place. If you are looking for cruelty-free resources, you can also find tons of them on my website, logicalharmony.net. Today's video is a chatty get ready with me. It's, it's very chatty, let's be real. It's very, very chatty, um, in which I do this look. And I use the ColourPop Orange You Glad palette, which I posted an Instagram poll to ask you what palette I should use, and you guys picked this one by just a little hair. Um, so I'll be doing another video soon with the Aha uh -huh Honey palette because it's super pretty. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's get right into it. This has been like a long time coming. I'm ready for 2020. I'm ready for changes. 2019 was a brutal year in a lot of ways, and I just thought it'd be good to do a chatty get ready with me and talk about you know, how I'm feeling about things, how I'm feeling about like future content and what I wanna create. Is this lip balm frozen? Nope, there we go. And just kind of open up a little bit more and like just chat, just hang out. I don't think I'll mention everything I'm using, but I will link to it down below so you guys can find that all there. I did an Instagram poll to find out which eye palette I should use because I really couldn't decide between Orange You Glad and Aha uh -huh Honey. Um, so I'm waiting on the results of that. I'm playing a risky game and I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer to see what people vote on because I'm curious. Okay, first of all, how is it 2020? Like that's so weird. This year just like went by so fast and I don't know. Like I feel like 2019 was such a crazy slash brutal year for so many of us. Like, I don't know, something about it. How many more times am I gonna say, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of us did a lot of, there was a lot of changes. There was a lot of growth for better or worse. There was just like a lot that went on for a lot of people. For me, as far as I felt about Logical Harmony, that has really like, I don't wanna say it's changed, but 2019 was like not an easy year in a lot of ways. And I was just really trying to figure out what I wanted and like what I wanted to do and what direction I wanted to go in. So Logical Harmony, if you guys don't know, has been around for a long time. Aside from YouTube, there's Instagram, there's the blog, there's, what else? I mean, those are the primary content forms, but just trying to find a balance between all of them can be really difficult at times. They're very like taxing in different ways. I just really wanted to take some time and figure out what content I wanted to create that also meshed with the content that it seems like you guys wanted. And I felt like I was having a hard time being inconsistent everywhere. I was having a hard time being consistent everywhere. I was being inconsistent everywhere. And that it was just like such a struggle a lot of the times because I don't know, I feel like I really, really, I just realized the mic is off. Sorry about that. I thought the audio wasn't working, so I kind of freaked out and then we checked and the mic was recording. I just, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Also, if you hear anything, we do have new neighbors up above us and they have dogs and a baby. And I just don't know what it picks up, but I think they're playing right now. Anyway, what was I talking about? I think I was just talking about like, you know, I really wanted to find this good content balance between what I enjoy creating, what is helpful to create, and what you guys enjoy seeing. And sometimes those honestly like don't always line up. Like some stuff for the blog, for example, like the shopping guides, they're just, they're super tedious to make. And I know that they're helpful and I like being able to provide those resources. Like truly don't get me wrong. It's just tedious to go through like a company's website, like a store's website and pull out all the brands and be like, okay, these ones are cruelty free. These ones are not. And what kind of products do they carry from each? And what other brands do they carry that aren't necessarily listed on Logical Harmony yet? And then things like that. And I feel like I've come to like a really good place of figuring out what it is that I want to do. And last year, I think I really got in my head with a lot of stuff. I honestly felt like a lot of the time kind of, I don't know, just very anxious about putting out content, um, very like anxious about how people would receive it. And I stuck to playing it safe a lot of the time slash just being inconsistent because I was just struggling with what I wanted to do and how I felt about things. And like, I don't know, I think it was like a weird process for me, but a good process to just sit down and think about like, okay, what it is, what is it that I do wanna put out into the world? What is it that I do want to share with you guys? Because there's so much and it can be discouraging because sometimes there'll be something that I'm, su like, I'm super excited about and people don't like it. And you know, you're always gonna have negative comments and that's just, that's just life. That's just how it is. You can't please everyone. And a lot of times there's really good feedback in those comments once you like filter out the other stuff. But I feel like I was just 
I was letting that stuff get to me more than it should and really letting it like discourage me and not create like I don't know and I think one thing I really want to do this year is just be more personal with the content um, be more intentional with it and do more of it like I want to be more consistent there are so many things about it that I love doing like like I mentioned shopping guides even though they're tedious I like doing them like it's fun in a different way. Like I'm one of those people, I like organizing. I like making lists. I really want to get more personal with things. This is almost empty. I really want to get more personal with things because I think that's something that has really been missing from a lot of elements of logical harmony. Like, and I think that's something you guys have seen me struggle with is that and really like pulling back in a way from creating makeup content. I felt like I kind of lost the joy for a bit and a lot of it just didn't feel fun anymore. It didn't feel like enjoyable to create. I didn't want to create it. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't feeling good in a lot of ways. Um, I don't really know of how else to explain it, but so many of you stuck with me and I am so grateful and thankful for you guys. Like thank you to everyone for dealing with all my growing pains in the past year. It's yeah, I don't know. Like I feel like I'm in a better place. I'm like mentally, I'm ready to come back and create. And I'm just trying to figure out like what sorts of content I wanna create. So Justin and I have talked a lot about like coming back with things like get ready with me's and just me not putting as much pressure on myself to feel like things have to be perfect. Like, and that I need to be amazing at makeup. Cause I'm not like, I feel like I've gotten more adventurous in my time off camera because I've really been able to just like play with things. They contour the heck out of my chin. I feel like I've been able to play with products more and play with color more and try new things. And that has been really good for me because it's really helped me get more comfortable with trying and failing. And I felt so much pressure before that I could not try and fail on camera. That I, That's just not something, it wasn't appealing. Like, And it's not something I felt like you guys wanted to see. And maybe you don't, but it's something I want to do more of. I want to open up. Um, I am a naturally like very introverted, shy person. And with everything that we do online, it kind of just like brings that out more in me. Like it's very, very easy for things at Logical Harmony to seem impersonal. And that's something a lot of people have commented on is they're like, oh, I thought you were like a team of like 15 people. No, it's just me and Justin, it's just us. It's just been interesting to see that change and to see how much like, I don't know, like I just, I want to be out there more. I want to put myself out there more. I wanna share more of myself with you guys because I feel like so many of you share so much of yourselves with me. I appreciate it. Like, I think it's so great and I've gotten to know so many of you and so many of you are just like such truly amazing people. And I wanna do the same. Like, I want to open up. I want you to get to know me as me and like, kind of just push through. Why does my nose always itch when I'm filming? It drives me crazy. It doesn't do this when I'm not filming. Like when I'm just regularly getting ready. It's so strange, but my nose always itches right here. I'm sick of struggling. I'm sick of feeling so self-conscious about so much of what I do and feeling like I'm under this lens. Like it doesn't matter as a content creator if you have 50 followers, 50,000, 500,000, whatever, you're always going to be under someone's microscope always. And I don't want to let that dictate what I'm doing anymore. Like so much of what I was doing before was honestly very fear-based and I just don't want to be that way. That's not how I want to live. That's not the approach I want to bring to it. That's not the energy I want to bring to it. And so you guys are going to see some different types of content this year, like here on Instagram and on the blog, you're going to see some shifts and I'm excited for it. I think it's good. I know not all of you will be interested in that and that's fine. Like that's totally fine. Um, but it's something I need for me and it's something I need. I just need to. And I feel so thankful and so blessed that like Logical Harmony is what Justin and I are able to do full time. So many things about it I really do truly love. And I want to get back to that. And so I just randomly draw my forehead and I want to get more back to like my roots, so to speak. Like there's content that I used to create like product reviews on the blog and I love doing product reviews. I think they're so much fun. I think they're very helpful. 
I read them on websites still. I want to do stuff like that again. Um, and some of the stuff you guys have been asking for, like the brand list updates, we'll be bringing those back. And just certain things where it's like, I want to get into a place where I'm enjoying what I'm creating so I can be more creative and I can iterate faster. Like you guys have so many great ideas that you've shared in comments here or on Instagram of like content you want to see. And I want to feel like I have the capacity to do that stuff. And I just haven't, like it's been a really tough year and I'm sick of it. Like that's the best way to explain it. I'm sick of it having been a tough year. Like 2019, our car was totaled, then Penny passed unexpectedly and that's still really hard. And we moved to a new state and just like, there's been a lot of stuff going on and I can't talk about all of it. I don't wanna share all of it because I just think it's pointless. Like I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to have a new mindset and to have a new approach. And I hope you guys are ready for that too, because I think it'll be really good. And I just feel like so much of content, hold on, I'm checking the poll about which palette. I feel like so much about content creation has been so like manufactured, if you will. Like, I don't even think that's the right word necessarily. All right, Orange You Glad is still winning, so that's what we're gonna go with. I don't think manufactured is the right word, but just impersonal. I think a lot of it has become very, very impersonal for a lot of creators. And I think creators are feeling that. And I think audiences are too. Like I miss the days where like, I felt like I knew the people I was watching. And when I realized that that's how I felt, I was like, that's definitely how people feel about me. Like so many of you have mentioned that you just, you feel like you don't know me at all. And that's totally like my bad because I'm naturally very much like a private introverted person. And a huge part I think of what attracted me to content creation is that it could be more impersonal. It didn't have to be all about me. That is also one of the biggest challenges about it too. And so I'm just, I'm excited for the change. I'm ready for it. Um, you guys are just going to see a bigger variety of content. You're going to see more types of content. Like I'm really excited. And instead of just like sitting here and telling you guys what you're going to see, I kind of just want to wait and let you see what comes out because I just feel like that's better. Like, don't tell me, show me. I think it'll be a really good change. And like, I don't know. I'm excited for it. What about you guys in 2020? Like, I feel like I just talked for so long, but I kind of just needed to get that out and get that off my chest but I wanna hear about you, like comment, let me know what you're doing for 2020. Like, do you feel the same about like your passions, your job, things in your life? Just what are some of your goals for 2020? Like, I'd love to hear that. I'd love to chat about that. I definitely wanna do more personal type content that's talking about like self-help-ish things and like my goals and things like that. Cause I just think it's good to share like, it holds me accountable, but also I think a lot of you guys could probably relate to them too. And I think, I don't know, I'd love to hear yours. Like I'd love to have you share your thoughts and share what's going on with you. Like I want to get to know you guys better too. That's the thing. And I know I'm not always great about replying to comments and that's something I want to change as well is I want to get to know you better and what you're enjoying and what your life is like. And just like, you know what I mean? Like I want to rebuild that connection that in 2019, I just, if I'm being super honest, I did not have the like capacity or the resources to maintain. And I feel really bad about that. Like I feel very guilty about it. And like, don't comment and tell me not to feel bad or don't not to feel guilty. Like that's not what I'm looking for here. I just feel like I need, I want to reconnect so badly. Like I want to do those things. And so much of what I want to do for this year is completely based around that and reconnecting with you guys. That is not the shade I wanted. And putting out content that I'm interested in and that I love and that you guys enjoy too. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys are, we're similar in a lot of ways. Like even if you're just interested in cruelty-free makeup, if you don't care about like what books I'm reading or anything like that, which I want to actually read some books this year. I didn't last year which I know is terrible. Does listening on Audible count? But I just want there to be so much more of a connection between us. I want to be able to feel like more comfortable in this space so I can be more transparent and honest with you guys about stuff that I don't typically talk about and that I shy away from talking about. And it's really scary to put yourself out there like that, but it's something I need. Like I need to do it. And I know I'm gonna get beat up along the way. I know I'm gonna get knocked down like by other people, by myself, probably more than anything but I think it need it, like it needs to happen. 
And so this is that year. I'm excited for the changes. I think it'll be positive. I think it'll be good. I hope you guys join me for the ride. Um, and if not, that's okay too. If it's not your thing, that's totally fine. I get it. I know a lot of people just, they're only here for the makeup. They don't like, and that's completely fine. Like no judgment if that's how you are. There's still gonna be like similar content to what was before. What I want to do is pepper in more of the, not real, but like, I wanna just pepper in more of the personal stuff so that it is more real overall. Um, and it's more personal, that's what I mean. It's more personal, not more real, because that's just been missing. I feel like I've repeated myself a million times, but I think you guys get where I'm at, and honestly, it just feels really good to have this like off my chest and to have this discussion with you guys, because um, it's been something I've thought about for a long time. Like I was for a bit thinking like, do I even want to do YouTube anymore? Like, should I just sell the blog? Like, what am I gonna do? What do I want to do? Like, things were not good in a lot of ways. And like, I was just really struggling a lot. And I think a lot of you guys could tell, um, even though I never said anything, like I would get messages, I would get comments from people and like, you guys could tell something was going on. And that's what it was, is I was really trying to figure out, what do I want? Like, what do I enjoy about this? And how can I bring that back again? Like, again, like part of it too is, just feeling like how, like, I'm so lucky to be able to work for myself doing this and doing what I love. And so for a long time, I just felt like it's so ungrateful of me to even have those thoughts. Um, but they're still there and I feel like they're still valid and it's, it's okay to have them. That is not a shimmery shade. And just figuring out how to process it all in a way that makes sense. And yeah, I don't know. Does that make sense to you guys? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I hope it does. And I think it will. And I think a lot of you guys will really understand what I'm talking about. And just thank you so much for the patience and thank you for sticking around. I really, really appreciate it because a lot of people haven't and I understand and it's fine. Um, I'm just like, I, it's tough to not be disappointed in myself. And that's something I'm trying to not let that get so much in my head and be so focused on that. And instead just be focused on the positive things that can come out of this and all the growth that can come out of it. And sometimes I think you really do need to be in a not great place to get to a better place. You know what I mean? Like you have to go through that growth and it sucks and no one enjoys it but it's just necessary sometimes. And I'm excited for this change. I think it'll be, I think it'll be good. Like what I'm doing right now, like two months ago, I would have been terrified to do a get ready with me on here with anything but neutrals out of fear that I would mess something up. I might, I might mess something up and that's okay. Cause that's just how it is. And like just taking, putting less pressure on myself to be perfect um, and to be a certain way and to be what I think people want. like it's exhausting and it's not worth it. Like, that's just not who I am. That's not how I am. And sorry, this is just me. And that's what I really want to bring into 2020 is that kind of energy of like, it's just how I am. It's just who I am and that's fine. And it doesn't mesh with everyone and that's okay. I've always been one of those people where I'm totally fine not being liked by everyone. Like I am completely okay with it. Um, you can't be everything to everyone and you shouldn't try. And I feel like for a long time I was I was trying and it just led me to a very unhappy place in a lot of areas and I don't want to do that anymore and I don't want to put you guys through that either. Like it's not fair to you and it's not fair to me. So then why do it? Like what's the point? What am, what am I gaining from it? Nothing. I think I'm going to put some of this glitter on. This glitter is very pretty. Um, I'm going to blend a little more first. But yeah, I feel like in this past few months especially, I've just had more fun taking time for myself and doing things I enjoy, like playing with makeup in a really different way, trying things I never thought I would try. And I think it's been really positive and really good. And like the response from you guys has been so supportive and so positive too. And that has been amazing. There's so many things, like so many Instagram photos I've posted that I've been scared to post because I was like, people are going to hate this. They're going to tell me it's ugly. They're going to point out all the flaws about it. They're going to point out everything wrong. Because when it's you, you put yourself under this microscope already. And then, I mean, to be honest, a lot of what's online, people want to look at you under a microscope. And you kind of like start to, and what I was doing is I wasn't even letting it get to that point. I would do it myself before it, like I, it would even go out. And then it wouldn't go out online because I'd already like beat myself down so much. And like, 
it's exhausting. It was an exhausting way to be. And like, I feel like very liberated. Like honestly, like, I don't know if you guys remember in November, I posted a photo wearing green lipstick and that was like a very pivotal moment for me. I remember sending it to Jess, vegan beauty addict. And I was like, should I even post this? Like people are gonna all over it. And like, she was like, no, post it. Like it's, it looks good. Just post it and see what happens. And I did, and it had a really positive response. And to me, that was such a pivotal moment of like, get out of your own head, like get out of there and just like, do better, do better. Talk to yourself better, be nicer to yourself. Don't get so caught up in everything because you always can and it's just not worth it. Like why spend all this time and energy being caught up in my own head instead of just doing stuff and just seeing what happens. Like I almost didn't post it and it was one of my most like photos of the year and I think it's because it was different and it was like something, it was different energy and I think people responded to that. And I wanna keep that going. I wanna keep that momentum going and I've been trying to more on Instagram. It's tough to open up for me. It's real tough, but I'm trying and I'm doing better. And I wanna do more of that here. And I feel like this video is like the start of that. And I'm not gonna do that like new year, new me BS. Cause that's not what it is. It's not a new me. It's just letting everything else not impact me so much. And really being able to just like open up and be more honest with you guys. Like not even, it shouldn't say honest. It's not an honesty thing. Just like allowing myself to be myself and knowing for better or worse, that that's what it is. And that's fine. I'm excited for it. Again, I know not everyone will be along for the ride and that's fine. I don't judge you. I don't fault you for that. I get it. But I think it's something I need for me. And I think I might write up like a big blog post about it too and what people can expect on the website, like what some of my goals are, because there's so much of like the going back to the roots, like I said, that I wanna put on there. Instead of writing up a big blog post, maybe I just need to start doing it and then let people be pleasantly surprised. I was gonna put on falsies, but I think I'm just gonna do this because I'm really liking these eyeshadows. The formula is really nice, actually. It's very pretty. I feel like falsies would definitely take it to a new level, but let's just do mascara for right now. Yeah, I've been experimenting more with my makeup and it's been a great process. I'm enjoying it. I feel like I have talked your ear off so much. And I know this was so much about me and I apologize for that, but it's just stuff that I needed to get out there and I needed to say, and I hope you guys understand. Um, also I'm in a room talking to myself, talking to a camera. So that's part of it too. But I wanna do more personal content, overall more fun content and just more variety. And I think you guys will like that. I hope you do. Comment and let me know like what some of your goals are for 2020 and what you're wanting to achieve and what you're wanting to do. Like, I wanna know, I wanna know, I'm so curious. And like, I don't really make new year's resolutions, honestly, but I do think it's helpful to have like goals in mind or things that you want and set those intentions and put that out into the universe. You guys are gonna see more of my hippie side this year. And I just think it's a good thing. It's a powerful thing and let's do it together, yeah? I'm trying to smile, but let's do it together. If you guys want to see more stuff, like obviously subscribe here, comment on this video. Tell me your thoughts on everything. Tell me your feedback. Tell me how you're feeling. Also follow me on Instagram. I'm going to keep posting makeup looks there, but I am going to switch it up more. I do want to do just more stuff. I want to do more of everything. Um, some more fashion, more lifestyle, more food, more of everything. Lots of different things. I don't like this lipstick with this eye at all. Let's see, what can I do? What else do I have here? Uh, if I can get this open. I love this hourglass glass, but the container, the packaging gets stuck all the time. Okay, yeah, it's a little better. It's a little more nude than I think I wanted, but that's okay. It's just how it is sometimes. Okay, so that was super long. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for listening. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much to everyone who stuck through all the weird times in 2019. Thank you to everyone who like reached out to check in on me. Like I appreciate it so much and I appreciate you so much. And just thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Just thank you. And I will see you soon.